The world's largest artificial islands is in Dubai. This cluster of islands should attract tourists from all over the world. Dubai has always had big designs for its coastlines, which is why the first of these island projects, the Palm Jumarath, started its construction in 2001. Motivated by the rapid progress, new ambitious plans were created. It wasn't long before construction of the Palm Jebel Ali and the world started in Dubai. Even though these islands are still unfinished and almost empty today, they represent Dubai's rapid growth after the discovery of oil in 1966. One such example is the construction of the Palm Dera, an island ten times the size of the Palm Jumeirah. It too, however, failed and was later scaled down. This was especially true after 2008, when financing these lofty projects became hard after the financial crisis. But while many of Dubai's island projects are still struggling to get funding, the only fully completed project, the Palm Jumeirah, could face some major problems in the near future. Various sources claim that the Palm Jumeirah is sinking at a rate of 0.5 centimeters per year. Developers claimed the islands weren't eroded. But two years later a business called Penguin Marine provided evidence that proved otherwise. Scientists say that even if this is not true, the biggest problem will be the rising sea levels. The IPCC predicts that the sea level will rise by between 25 and 200 centimeters by the end of this century depending on if the climate stays stable or not. This could lead to flooding in low-lying areas. Even if the rise in sea levels isn't likely to completely flood the country for years to come, more costly measures are still needed to maintain it and fight against the rising water. Considering the number of failed island projects in Dubai and the immense challenges that Pebble Jumeirah will face in the future, these projects are not exactly a success.